What's good, YouTube? It's your boy RJ. Got you some content today with some XP challenge help. Now, we know we all do XP. Some people do XP. Some people grind XP. Some people may do XP when they do XP challenges. But within 2K22, it's been a problem. Not to say a major problem, but I want to say out of all the challenges, the, the very most challenging challenge would be getting steals. So I'm going to show you how you can get steals easier using Allen Iverson as that is pretty much that's going to get you 15 steals. It took me maybe about three to four games to uh, four games, about, about four games. But the reason why it took me four games is because you have to know what players you're going in with. So I'm going to show you guys how to make it easier for yourself. So that way you're not stressing to go into Dom. You're not stressing to go into TTO online or even online. Even, I mean, even though you can do those things, it'll add up over time to getting 15 steals. But to knock it out sooner to get that XP quicker, I'm going to show you guys a quicker way to get steals. Before we go ahead and get in tune, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, comment. Appreciate you guys have been showing the love on the YouTube channel. And hey, let's go ahead and enjoy this. If you got AI, go ahead and knock this XP out challenge right now. As you can see, these are the three players I'm using in the rotation. Danny Ainge, Allen Iverson, Irvin Johnson. So pretty much a gold and diamond, you know, try to keep your, at least get one big as a gold. And then, you know, try to keep the other lineups as kind of short because we got AI too as well. We don't want any guards out here with diamond cards because, you know, it's going to be a rough time trying to steal, steal a ball from these players. Now, the biggest thing is what I do say is with going in these games, what I paid attention to is who is the point guard, right? Because noticing who the point guard is helps you make a decision like, all right, am I going to sit all this time? trying to play triple threat to get a lot of steals or am i just gonna just you know get easy steals i can i know that i can get like if i see somebody like a diamond chris paul or even diamond ai i wouldn't want to try to you know steal a ball from diamond ai or chris paul because we're Kyrie. you know they got handles but at the end of the day this is tto offline so this is a cal lowry here as we go right here pluck, pluck. You know, pretty much right there, what you want to do is kind of let the AIs go to the paint with the guard, play on the hip of the player, and just spam that square button. That's all. You know, do the same thing. Let them, you know, give them open space. Let them go up there, try to meet them. Another steal, but they call a foul. You're going to get a lot of fouls. It's going to be called, but just keep doing that until you get as many steals as possible. Sometimes you can get the animation of the steal animation, but what happens is they'll end up getting the ball back. Like right there, we get it. Oh, we got that, you know. My, my guard and Danny was able to recover that ball and get that right there as we green that baby to go let's go so just pretty much give them the angle to the rim as he you know he pretty much pushed off and got a little got a little available to get that layup that will happen a few times but just be able to try to time when he's gonna go up get don't give him so much space because sometimes they will pull up a midi which I've seen throughout multiple players do that they'll literally shoot the ball or do a pull up and it's like bro what are you doing so guards that is not like dunking um i'm talking like dunking like going to the river going up strong dunking the ball you don't gotta worry about that but like guards like this is cal lowry he's gonna lay it up so we're gonna try to time it again get another pluck right here get to pick it up we got we literally had got like five steals off of this one game doing this so it's definitely can get this done within three to four games unless you can get maybe 10 steals in one game and go crazy from there the thing is is i'm trying to win this game as well as in complain TTO instead of just worry about the steals because when you look up they're gonna be winning the game see like right there he kind of paused and like stopped the AI literally caught me sleeping the AI caught me lagging and sleeping you know the pluck steal right here see we didn't get it that time we didn't get the steal that time because we wasn't able to get to, we wasn't able to recover the ball that's what I'm talking about like we can get the steal animation but we can't recover the ball that's the biggest thing you get the steal animation and we can recover the ball every single time it's money but when it's when it's hard of not being able to recover because our guy's not there, another still animation. See, my shooting guard Danny Ainge is ready to recover. He's there to recover the ball. So we get that still right there to go as well. So we're just gonna sauce him up, game him up right here. Oh, nope, not right this one. But we try to get another still as well. Keep it going. Just keep doing the same routine over and over and over again. Because at the end of the day, you don't want to sit here for hours doing this, trying to get a steal and dom, trying to get a steal, playing or or you can get 15 steals in domination and literally have to wait a whole game until you're done. You know get your steals keep it moving and so on so like i said this was with cal lowry going up against him easier said than done get that out the way keep it moving but as far as in like 
a lot of a lot of these a lot of players are trying to do their steals in domination trying to do their steals online and so forth go in tto you know don't stress yourself i mean unless you want to you know don't stress yourself so much my biggest thing is like even with Kawhi and marbury this is the same routine as well as we greened up i'm going to show you guys right here the stats we ended up getting five steals off of this which was a good start because needed 15 you need 15 steals um for ai's xp so this is mike bibby so with mike bibby we were only able to get like two you know we got that one pluck right there was able to pick it up with mike bibby we was able to get two because of the fact that mike bibby was low-key starting to shoot the ball a little bit more pulling up jumpers and stuff like that so we had to try to like get those same steals but also try to get the bait steals and we end up getting like a steal like that and he recovers that and that's what was pretty much happening the rest of this game but see i was able to get a pluck steal off of him and i got a steal from al horford right here trying to double team which i ended up getting that so it's like loki seeing the play seeing the court seeing who you can go attack and try to get a steal from especially when it's not in the point guard's hands that was that's what i was paying attention to as well um i mean if you guys are doing this this is an easier method to do to get the XP done with AI because I know steals is a pain. Steals has always been a pain because you're worried about trying to bait the AI instead of trying to bait an actual player. So with doing this, just keep doing it. You're going to get the fouls because it's going to be called. Just don't worry about it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. Like I know, like I'm going to show you even a clip. Like that was another steal that I tried to get, but they didn't get that to me. So we get this one. They didn't get that to me as well. That's what I'm talking about. We literally had two steals right there that we could have grabbed, but we didn't get the recovery on it. So I'm going to show you some clips. Um, Well, that's like one clip just to talk to you guys about it. Like as to why I didn't play that match. I actually played one of the matches fully through. Like, yeah, we only had got two steals within this match against, against Mike Bibby. But the next clip um more than likely is going to be with us playing up against chris paul like right here i'm just going to talk to you guys about it like this is chris paul right i played this whole game we won the game but i didn't get no steals why because it's chris paul i'm not going to get those steals from chris paul so we played the whole game i was like all right whatever man i ain't get no steals all right so i know next time i'm just going to quit out so i'm going to show you guys a clip of me going up against a diamond allen iverson i went up against diamond ai and i kid you not hey when it goes to that clip you're going to see how fast i quit but here we go we got a lurk steal right here this is when we were going up against jameer nelson so jameer nelson i think we were able to get like maybe two steals as well from jameer nelson um he was giving us a little stop and go hesitation shooting to pull up a close range jumper and you know keep you know, like like this is the ai clip right here look watch this i, I meet him he bounces it and catches it. like i just gotta quit that like i mean I'm not gonna get no steals so i was like all right demar DeRozan is actually running the guard emerald at that so we're gonna get these plucks real easy this is when we're gonna have to just finish out the game do the job make it easier don't stress ourselves and just keep it going so we're just gonna play play demar up front give me that ball i started to notice that demar dribbling in front of ai is not gonna be the move so we just gotta take advantage of that and just get the rest of these steals that way stop trying to get the steals of making them go to the paint so i started being aggressive just you know he's dribbling in front of me press that square button get that steal shoot that three green it up cash let's go and that's when i noticed so if you ever notice that it's a small forward that you're guarding with the point guard just try to go for the aggressive steal at the, at the end of the day you know he shouldn't be dribbling in front of a guard especially when it comes to like a chris paul or ai or marbury you're, you're gonna be able to get that animation for that steal and keep it moving so we end up completing the challenge within like three like four games we put it in four games you guys can do the same as well or you, you guys may can do it sooner than i have i'm just want to show i want to show you guys a quick way to help yourself not stress so much on getting these steals because i know those steals can be very traumatizing but as you see we got that lurk still again and that's what we had completed the, the steel xp challenge this is your boy rj with another video make sure you like subscribe comment hopefully you guys can get this done sooner than i can but this is what is something to give you guys to make it easier for you